All right, in this video, absolute value math tutorial series, video number four, and we're gonna look at some more basic absolute value inequalities. This example here, I will give you a shortcut and I call it the gray tour shortcut. That is not a typo. So let's solve and graph the absolute value inequality. We have the absolute value of two X plus five is greater than 10. Notice here we have the absolute value is greater than some number, gray tor. And I'll talk about gray tor towards the end of this problem. Back at the very beginning of this series, we looked at some very basic absolute value equations. And then in video number two, we looked at some very basic absolute value inequalities. We're gonna take those same concepts and we're going to apply it to video number four. First of all, I want you to think, when we take the absolute value of this stuff, we want all of this stuff and this blue blob to be bigger than 10. Well, that can definitely happen, right? We can take this blue blob. If this blue blob was say 11, the absolute value of 11 is greater than 10. There are plenty of numbers such that when we take the absolute value of them, we will get something greater than 10. With that concept in mind, Let's take this and break it up into two inequalities. And what we do here is the same thing as video number two. We have two X plus five is greater than 10. I'm gonna write that down without the absolute value. And then for our second inequality, we want two X plus five, but now we want to flip the inequality and we want to change this sign. This was discussed in video number two. Now let's solve both of these and then we'll talk about what the or means with the gray tor. Let's subtract five from both sides and this will give us two X is greater than five. Dividing both sides by two, we get X is greater than five halves and five divided by two is 2.5. So I'm going to use that decimal there. That way when we go to graph this inequality, we can see where 2.5 is a lot quicker than say five halves. Same thing though. All right, over here on this one, let's subtract five from both sides. Now we have two X is less than, watch your signs here, negative 15. Dividing both sides by two, very similar. Now we have X is less than negative 15 divided by two. That is gonna be equal to negative 7.5. Now, Let's look at these two answers. We want values of X such that they're greater than 2.5. We also want values of X such that they are less than negative 7.5. Let's look at this on the number line. So let's talk about this one first. We want numbers that are greater than 2.5. Since we don't wanna be equal to 2.5, I'm just gonna to come to 2.5 right between two and three and I'm gonna put an open circle. And this says we want numbers that are greater than 2.5. Well, all of these numbers to the right of 2.5 are going to be greater than 2.5. So I'm going to highlight that arrowhead there, indicating that we go on to infinity. All of these numbers are greater than 2.5. Now for this one, we want numbers that are less than negative 7.5. So I'm gonna to come to negative 7.5, put an open circle since we are not equal to, and we want to pick numbers that are less than negative 7.5. We are going to shade in this direction because all of these numbers to the left of negative 7.5 are going to be less than negative 7.5. Now here's my gray tour shortcut. Back at the very beginning, when we had the absolute value, we said it was greater than 10, greater than, greater. A lot of times when you have greater than, your two shading pieces will shoot off in opposite directions. That does not happen 100% of the time, but I'm gonna throw a number out there and say, hey, it happens 99% of the time. Now let's think about what this means. Let's take some numbers that are not in our shaded regions. For example, look at zero. Zero is not in this shaded region, nor is it in this shaded region. Well, watch what happens if we plug zero into X up here. Two times zero is zero, plus five is five, 
and the absolute value of five is five, but that is not greater than 10. That is why zero is not in a shaded region. Let's take another example. How about negative five? This is not in a shaded region, so it should not work. Let's verify that. Two times negative five is negative 10, plus five is negative five, and the absolute value of negative five is positive five. That is not greater than 10. None of these numbers that are not inside of a shaded region, none of these numbers will work up here. One more time, let's look at two. Two is not in a shaded region. Two times two is four. Four plus five is nine. The absolute value of nine is nine, and that is not greater than 10. None of these numbers in this little region here, they're not in a shaded region, they will not satisfy this inequality. Now let's check in the shaded regions to verify that these numbers work and these numbers work. For example, three. Three is inside of a shaded region, so it should satisfy this absolute value inequality. Plugging in three, two times three is six, plus five is 11. The absolute value of 11 is 11, and yes, that is greater than 10. The same thing is going to apply for all of these numbers inside of here. Now let's look over here on this side. Let's take negative nine. Negative nine is in a shaded region, so it should satisfy this absolute value inequality. Plugging in negative nine, two times negative nine is negative 18. Negative 18 plus five is negative 13. And the absolute value of negative 13 is a positive 13. And yes, that is greater than 10. So yes, negative nine does work, and it should because it's inside of a shaded region. As a matter of fact, any of these numbers over here, any number less than negative 7.5, all of these numbers here, will satisfy this absolute value inequality. And again, the same applies for any number to the right of this 2.5. That's exactly what this says. X is greater than 2.5 any number that's to the right of 2.5 will satisfy it as well. And again, back to my shortcut, greater, greater than, most of the time when that happens, when you go to shade your answers, you will shade these in opposite directions. And there you have it, video number four, basic absolute value inequalities. We have a greater shortcut here. And then later on in probably video number five, I'll come and talk about the less than shortcut as well. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.